Good morning, my beautiful overcomers. How you doing today? I'm coming to y'all real bright and early today. Today it's only 7.44. I'm just starting to get up, get to work. So I may look a little tired or a little sleepy because I got to get up. My energy is not that. <laughs> but I'm up and out. Again, I, I'm trying to bring them to y'all super early when I can because um, I'll probably be late. Not late, but over a little bit like over in the morning like I was yesterday um, on the weekend because... Well, I don't know, because sometimes my husband goes hunting, but because he'll be here. So I try to bring them to you early as I can so that you guys can, if you want to, try to include the prayers in your regular morning prayers or early in the morning on your breaks when you get to work or whatever, however you do it, or either when you get home at night. But anyway, I just want to bring it to you as early as I possibly can on that day so that you are able to get it in and not have to stress about, oh, did I do that before I went to bed, right? So again, happy Thursday, you guys. Um, we made it. We're getting through this week. We overcome anything that's trying to stop us this week. Y'all know I don't make these videos long. I just want you to get the message and roll on, okay? Whew, so I may come to you today since I'm coming so early with a little uh, with a little lunch and a little chit-chat. With a little chit-chat and catch up and see what's going on, what, what we got going on, you know? But happy day four, right? Yeah, I think it's day four uh Monday, Tuesday. yeah happy day four of 21 days of prayer and fasting and i hope that you're doing well i hope i pray that um whatever you decided to fast from that it's working from you that you that you're not struggling with it and i know you're not because you got all your trust in the lord but that you're doing really well and that you you know and if you're behind it's no problem to catch up go back look at the other videos and get the message um and just catch up on your readings and your prayers. There's no, it's, you don't have to say, I'm not going to do it because I didn't do day one. No, jump right on in with us. It's just day four. We got some more days to go and um, we are enjoying it. So I got on up and I, I prayed and I, I got the script, scripture for the day and I prayed about that. And so I'm starting my day and I was like, what better way to start my day than to go on here and let my family start that day. Let me get on on here and, and get it started so... We've already um, sacrificed our bodies, right? We've already uh, let the Lord know how thankful that we are. We've already take, figured out that we're taking the lid off our life, right, for 2021. And we're, we're asking for bigger things. We're doing bigger. We're going bigger. We, we want all the blessings he got for us, correct? So today we're going to talk about Proverbs uh, chapter 3, verse 6. Chapter 3, verse 6. And that is, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, I read that, and I prayed. Um, and um, in this prayer, when you're praying, um, let God know how committed you are. That how committed you are to him, that you are very committed. Uh, that's your prayer for today, is commitment. That you're committed to the Lord and what he got going for us and you know what we what we're gonna do so uh yeah so we've sacrificed and now now we're committing and um it's just so awesome you know we went through a lot yesterday uh, I watched us as a, a a country uh up in DC and it was quite sad and, and it was it's sad and everything that we do and you know we all belong here in America and um I don't know I I I just don't want any of us to be divided. Like we're all his people. We're all God's people. And we all are striving and wanting the same things. And, and we're all in the, and, and everybody in con Congress, whether they're independent, Republican, or, or Democrat, they're supposed to be all for the people and fighting for us all. We're all in this together, y'all. We're human beings, basically. I mean, it's, it's, at the end of the day, whichever one that you say that you are, you're still a human being, and we all are, and we all just need to come together and love one another and fight because we're fighting for the same causes. We all want the same things. And, you know, the only thing that kind of divides us sometimes is the rich and the poor. So we, we're all, we know the people that I talk to, we're the working class, you know, and but we're all still human. Like, we all just want the same things and to help one another. And they're all for, they're, they're all, they're for us all. It's just that they all got different things that they believe in, just like we do in, their, you know, everyday life. So, again, just uh, commit to God and let them know how committed that you are. Read Proverbs 3, 6. Uh, like I said, go back and look at the other things that, um, the other readings that we've had this week, if you haven't uh, kept up or, or you know, 
getting with it. And um, I, I just pray that it's strengthening your relationship with God. I pray that, uh, you know, you're, you're feeling better and you're, you're, you're getting focused on what it is that you need to do, you want to do and you want to accomplish in 2021. I truly, I, I didn't turn it down, so I hope the TV won't interfere. And I'm, I'm just, like I said, half waking up, half not. <laughs> it's truly, truly early today. Uh, early that I've ever come to you. Uh, but I just want to make sure that you guys are getting your relationship in order with, with the Lord, that you're committing, that you sacrificed, that you're taking the lid off your life, and that you're going for things that you would never, that you would never imagine you would go for. When people tell you that you can't do it, it's because they're afraid, because they're afraid to go for it and do it. So I pray that you guys are going for everything that you've ever wanted or that you thought you could not have. Dream big. You're gonna receive big. You're gonna pray big. We're gonna think big. Everything in 2021 is going big. Okay? And that's what we're gonna do. We're changing our mindsets and we're going for it. We're no longer afraid. We're no longer saying, I can't have, or hey, if it didn't work for Joe Blow, it's not going to work for me. Yes, it is. Why not? Why not you? Why not? Why not? They're not promised. They're not going to get the same blessings that you get. Everything ain't meant for everybody, but you won't ever know until you try. So this time we're putting our best foot forward. We're stepping out on faith, and we're putting our foot forward, and we're going to do some things that we didn't do in 2020. We're going to receive some things that we didn't receive in 2020. We are dreaming big now. We're not going small. We know that the Lord has big things for us. He wants us to receive in abundance. He, he going to do a lot of things for us. He wants to give us blessings. We just got to ask for them. We got to know how to go out there and do the work. We got to know to put our best foot forward, y'all. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So no more excuses. No, no more excuses. Whatever it is that you couldn't accomplish in 2020, I expect right here, right now, on January the 7th. Isn't that right? Yep. Day four of 21 days of prayer and fasting, that you are going for it. That you are doing what you thought you couldn't do or that what you were scared to do in 2020. You're actually going for it and you know that you can have it and you're going to do it. So I need for you to have the faith and step out on that thing and do it right here, right now, today. Start today. Whether it's the paperwork or it's talking to somebody, calling somebody, texting somebody, going by and making sure they still do what it is you thought or, or, or you afraid to do. Step out on that thing and do it because I'm telling you, you will never know what's for you until you try. But you have to try. You got to put in some work and he going to lay the rest out for you. So please don't be discouraged. I need for you to get up and do what it is that you feel like you need to do or that you've always wanted to do. No time, no, there's no better time than right here, right now. Because if 2020 didn't teach us anything else, it taught us that we don't have time to waste anymore. We don't. You know, you hear the day going tomorrow. We don't have time to waste. It slapped us in the face real hard. And we never know when our last day is coming. We don't know what the world is bringing or what other type of pandemic we're going to go through or what this new strain going to have, y'all. We, we don't have time to waste anymore. It, you don't even have time to say tomorrow, I'll try tomorrow because today I'm just too tired. No, you need to do it right here, right now, today. You need to put your best foot forward today, right here, Thursday, January the 7th, 2021. If you hadn't already did that on Monday when we got started or on the 1st when 2021 came in or December the 31st, right here, right now, today, I expect you to put your best foot forward on whatever it is and just try and watch it work out for you, okay? I need for you to do that because we no longer have time to waste. I'm not gonna keep y'all long. I just want to make sure y'all come on here and make sure that you guys got the time to pray. I love you guys so much. God loves you so much. We are committed. We sacrificed our bodies. We're taking the lead off our lives, y'all. We're stepping out on faith and we got plenty of faith. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go and let's get it. We know we we done with wasting time with people, things, and everything else. Let's go, let's go, let's do this thing. Let's start doing some things that we we feel like we didn't have time to do in twenty twenty one. We got twenty twenty. We got time right here today in twenty twenty one. So let's go, guys. No more excuses. Thank y'all for all the beautiful comments. Please like, share, subscribe. I see a lot of people that are watching that are not subscribed. You're not hitting the bell. You're not liking it. I don't. I don't know. Like, what is it? <laughs> 
Because anybody that's talking about positivity or the word of God, you ought to like that more than you like anything. Come on, y'all. If you positive people, if you positive people and you love the Lord, what am I saying or doing that you are not liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell? Let's go. I'm telling you. Because we're going to come through some things together, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm here to inspire, encourage, motivate, whatever it is that you need. I am being here for you, okay? And yes, this is not all that we're doing, but we're in 21 days of prayer, so I will be coming to you with eating videos. You know, I don't eat a lot, but I'll come to you just so we can chit-chat, you know? So we're going to chit-chat. We're going to do a little cooking. We got a lot of things coming in 2021. I'm just starting out the year right, and that's with the love of God, okay? So... I'm just starting it out right, but we got a lot of things that's coming, and I, I, I not, a lot of new reviews that I'm going to be doing, and I got a lot of big dreams for this, whether it becomes something that I, you know, that becomes big or not. I stepped out on faith and got my face on this camera, and guess what? I'm going to just keep going until I see what it is, because if I quit, then hey, I'm going to fail you anyway. I'll let it fail anyway, because there's plenty of times I thought I don't have time, I don't really want to do it, or it was more than what I thought. No. I'm doing it because I'm loving the family that I've I've gotten and the friendships that I've made and uh, I got some great sisters and brothers out there and I'm just gonna keep it going because you know it's so easy to quit but it's hard to keep going and pushing and thriving and that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So I love you guys. Have a great day. Finish out your week strong and we will get back to it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and. <sighs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, I might see y'all at lunch because I'm um, feeling like some shrimp today or something. Woo! Because I ate a few last night and man, they were awesome. And the only reason I haven't been eating with y'all the other day because I'm not even eating my doggone cabbages and barbecue chicken. Child. I haven't had to eat that up. I was craving them cabbages and I wasn't about to let them go to waste. So, I've been eating on the same thing pretty much. And the, anything I eat on the side was not anything that was, you know, just so whatever. But, ah. Uh, I might come to you with a little something today. Just a little something. It ain't going to be much, but a little something. And uh, we'll have a little chit-chat and see what's going on. And I'll talk about a few things or whatever. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you so much. And uh, have a great morning. Have a great have a great day. And uh, let's finish the week strong, okay? I love you. God love you. Go ahead and hit that like button and give, leave me a comment, please. And I thank you so much. And I'll uh, talk to you later. Let me try to get this video uploaded so y'all can get to praying. Bye-bye. <laughs>